Hi and thank you for downloading the Mini Virtual Studio Set Template Pack. This project is compatible with Adobe After Effects version CS6 and above, as well as Premiere Pro, so let's take a look at how to customize it. First download the delivery zip file and make sure you unpack all the files before opening up any project. Inside the project folder you will find an After Effects version, as well as a Premiere Pro version of the project. Let's open up the AE version first. Inside you will find the 00U change folder, which contains all the editable elements and the 00 main composition. This project contains an intro, an angle composition, and the lower third. So, first let's open up the intro by double clicking on it. Here we have a section for your logo and six images in the main scene. Next, let's import some media. And we'll choose File, Import, File. We'll add some images, a background video, a logo file, and a presenter shot. To add the logo, double click on the Your Logo Composition. And bring your logo file into the timeline. You can press S to bring down the scale property and adjust the size if needed. Please make sure your logo is in PNG, PSD or any other format with transparency. To change the images, Go to the intro scene, scene 1 images, and open up the compositions. Bring your images into the timeline. And delete or turn off the sample layers. To change the intro text, double click on the title scene 1 and enter your own text. Next, let's take a look at the main scene. Open up the angle composition. Inside you can choose between a table or a desk, or you can have them both turned off. To add your presenter, double-click on the talent composition and drop your actor footage. And we will do the same for the background image.
Now let's move on to the lower third. Double click to open it up. Double click on any text composition to edit the text. The logo will appear automatically. Finally, let's take a look at rendering this project. Select the main composition and choose Composition, Add to Adobe Media Encoder Queue. The default preset match source high bitrate will get you good results. You just need to click under the output file to set the destination path of your video and then click on the green play button to start rendering. Thank you for watching this tutorial and in the next tutorial we'll take a look at editing the Premiere Pro version of this template.